W. We've got you covered. Here tonight at 6, Wausau Mayor Katie Rosenberg has a plan for a new policing task force. Thanks for joining us. I'm Phil Aldridge. And I'm Melissa Langben. News 9's Natalie Sapila live in Wausau with what this plan will mean for the city and what the next step will be. On Tuesday, Mayor Rosenberg officially presented the draft charter for the Wausau Policing Task Force. The goal is community-led recommendations for how to keep Wausau residents safe. As unrest over policing practices continues in cities across America, officials here in Wausau are taking steps to change that. Tuesday, Mayor Katie Rosenberg presenting a draft charter for the policing task force. The emphasis, community-led improvements to policing in Wausau. I think it'll be a, um, a good opportunity for, uh, for our police department and our community to engage in conversations and uh, understand what is happening on a local level. According to the charter, the task force will be comprised of seven members, the majority being citizens. One Wasa resident says the involvement of everyday citizens will be important to the task force's success. Once they know that the police are willing to work with them and, and become uh, closer relate, uh, in relationship to the community uh, it sets up better uh, um, overall communication. The charter lays out 13 main responsibilities for the task force. They include analyzing Wausau's policing policies and practices, examining systemic racism and its effect on policing, and providing recommendations for policies and services. Bliven says it's all about building trust. Identify the social issues, our role as a law enforcement agency in those issues, and, and develop trust uh, between the police and our community. The charter is still a draft for now, but Fisher says it's a good idea for the community to have some input. All of the input that the uh, people in, in the uh, uh, downtown office get and gather uh, goes a long way toward uh, uh, making Wausau a nice, safe community. Next week, the mayor will hold several listening sessions, both online and in person, to hear your thoughts and feedback. Live in Wausau, Natalie Sapila, News 9 WAOW.